Greetings, everyone. And this is part six on this series on betrayal within the viral emotions um, classes that we're doing. These are 30 minute classes. Uh, today, we're gonna do a little vigorous arm exercise so we can get clear and process this thing. So a little review before we get started uh, on acceptance today, part six. We've really been tracing through the stages of grief because betrayal is a shock and there's a lot of loss involved where you, mm, loss of trust, loss of the world the way it was, possibly you know loss of relationships. Uh, I hope that through this series you've been maybe tracking some of those losses so that you can identify them individually and heal from them. So by review, we've been, um, again, doing the stages of grief because uh, of that that's really what people are going through. So we talked about um, shock and denial, the initial impact of getting the news or finding out about the betrayal. Uh, denial, you know, it's just too much. You don't want to believe it. You, it's too, you know, too, we're, we're talking about acceptance now, finally, but resistance, we, we're going through these stages because it's just so much work to have to change your worldview, change your understanding, reshift, uh, reintegrate. Uh, it's a lot of work. And without really thinking about that, we resist this, this big change that uh, betrayal br brings into our lives. So then comes anger, you know, like you, anger is an emotion that responds to, to harm. So betrayal is very harmful. Have you counted the ways that you've been hurt? You know, what, what, what has been hurt physically, mentally, emotionally, uh, in your daily life, your routine, your community and friendships. So we went through that week two, um, maybe that was week one. Um, bargaining and guilt, you know, was it my fault? Is there something I could have done if only and all that? And then depression when you're just exhausted really from, uh, all that mental and emotional, sh you know, earthquake, tectonic plate shifting. Um, so then you go into grief, which is really the beginning of all right, I've got to actually deal with this and integrate it and heal. Um, so, yeah. So then after all of that, acceptance comes, let's say, in a couple of ways. Either you're just exhausted. You, you know, at some point you realize you can't fight this. Um, and so you sort of relent. You sort of surrender, maybe, uh, reluctantly or otherwise. But there's another way that I want to um, look at and work with today, and that is feeling and knowing and understanding that I can handle this, that I'm strong enough to deal with this big change, whether it's grief, loss, betrayal, um, all of that. I can handle this. I got this. And that might take a long time sometimes to just, and there might be a combination of like, okay, I can't fight this and I better have the strength to do it. But I'd like to suggest a shortcut where um, something that yoga meditation are very good at giving us, which is um, not only physical strength in our nervous system and our glandular system to handle stress, because you know stress is a good, title for all of this that's that's going on here right so so physically I can handle it my nervous system can can deal with it and stay strong and keep me you know from being confused and distraught uh, but also a sense of auric strength a sense of clarity that I see the bigger picture so that's what I want to work with you today so get ready for uh, an arm exercise where we're going to breathe and move powerfully to, um, to see if we can get to acceptance. Uh, before we start, just a couple of words about acceptance. So what, what's the opposite, first of all, if we want to understand 
acceptance so we can do it. Um, rejection, so okay, I, I accept your pack, I accept this package from the delivery. Um, I accept your apology. I accept you as you are. That last one might be a little harder. As, as opposed to rejection, no, I don't want the letter you're handing me, I don't want the community, I don't want you. Uh, I want to reject the truth. I want to reject, you know, we're talking about something that's a betrayal has already happened. So all this resistance, you know, acceptance means accepting reality. Accepting, it doesn't mean you love it. Acceptance doesn't mean, okay, I'm, a, I'm enthusiastically excited about what happened. Acceptance means, I hate to say it, it is. It is what it is. Uh, so I accept that. And that's when we can start dealing with it. Really, everything else has been, I don't want to deal. It looks like you're dealing with it with all that time and emotion and talking and yelling. and You're processing. But dealing means, okay, I have it. When somebody deals you some cards, you know, you have them. And now you may have a good hand or an awful hand, but you've been dealt your hand, so you better deal with it. Uh, so acceptance really is when we start going like, okay, I can, de I, 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 I will do this, right? So it's really a big breakthrough and I want to do a little practice today that maybe can help you get to it quicker. And so this is an arm exercise. Be ready to practice. You're going to need some room out about this close, of course, right? So nothing that you're going to hit like that. And your hands are just gently cupped. Well, they're, they're flat really, but not just rigid flat, just relaxed really. Okay, so they're out like this, and then just overhead, like a ballerina. Might not be able to see my hands crossing at the top, but you know, just one under, one over, something like that, and then back down, right? Now there's a breath with it. It's through an open mouth. You'll hear that windy sound, inhale up, exhale down. Now, sometimes we do this very fast. This is a, at a one second beat. So, if you have the music Tantric Hutta, that's a nice one second beat. There's a lot of music that has a one second beat. So this is nice to do with that or some other track or a metronome. But for today, I'll, I'll count it out for you. So a second goes like, so we're gonna be going up, down, up, down. Ready to begin? Okay, here we go. Counting the time. Rounded mouth, open lips, windy sound through an open mouth and throat. So marking the time, I'd like to see you go for six minutes today. And it's nice to build this practice up to 11 minutes. And here we go. So click, click. Good, I hope you're not just watching, practice with me now. And I'm gonna just give you a few mental cues to go through it with, all right? All right, but let's let it, let's just adjust. The first part of a Kriya for me is just sort of, you know, getting used to it, like, okay, checking out my arms, I got the thing. Within a short amount of time, you're, it becomes automatic. Your body's like, okay, we can do this, like walking without having to think about it, okay? Good, that's probably crossing that. We're in the second minute. Um, breathe strong. Now, you know, you might get lightheaded and all those things. So maybe your shoulders aren't working, whatever's happening, you just do your best, right? So always be kind and compassionate with yourself. You know, modify as you need to, but we wanna, we're challenging the system, challenging your body, pumping the breath, uh, 
you know, challenging your sense of whether you can handle it or not. That's what a lot of what we do in Kundalini Yoga. You know, can I handle this? Well, I don't think so. But then sort of you go through about minute two or three and you're like, well, I guess I made it so far. Come on, let's go. And your system, your physical system rises to meet the challenge. And that's what we have to do every day in life. Here comes life. Can I meet it and win? So that's what we get to practice in a very short time, in a controlled session. There's an experiment with me handling things. But don't get into feeling down on yourself, self-critical, negative, if your shoulder's not working or anything. Just find the balance of healthy pushing yourself without hurting yourself. That, that's, that's how we want to live, right? Okay. Acceptance, acceptance, right? Yeah, we're not there yet. We're just, well, I don't like this. I don't want to do this, you know, feel, learn to listen to your resistance, all right? It's probably warning you of, so you don't get hurt. That's all right. If you're just joining, come on in, join me with the breath. It's one second up, one second down. If you want to practice this on your own, I'm suggesting the tantric hara, 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 hara. But we're breathing, not chanting. But sometimes music can help keep you up. The arms don't have to be rigid straight at all. There's a little bend. They sink a little below the um, shoulder level, right? So it's a more, a little easier than some of these rigid ones, right? So, all right. You're at four minutes. Let's go two more minutes now. So breathe. The breath and the movement. And... In spite of the fact that I'm chatting you up through this thing, you want to be focused mentally. So once it becomes automatic, your mind might start wandering. No, stay here. Be mindful. Stay right with your body, right? You might feel the discomfort, the fatigue, but think positive thoughts, right? Expand. Think expansion, all right? So... In this last minute and a half, I want to give you some suggestions to think and feel. Some suggested thoughts and feelings. Um, I've got this, okay? It's hard, but I've got this. I can handle this. I'll get through this somehow, right? And that might be stopping, you know? I can't see you, you know, stop if you need to, but don't rob yourself of the, of the chance to... Go up against the, what you think are the limits of your capacity. Because I propose that that's what all this resistance and going through anger and bargaining and... I, I don't know. I don't either want to do this or don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can handle it. So what I want you to do is just be here breathing and saying, I can handle this somehow. Starting with the physical thing that you're doing now. And life in general. Being me, you know, well, I got this good thing, but I got this, you know, challenge or weakness. But, all right, I can handle all of that. People, you know, have more greater challenges than you. I, I guarantee you. Not to belittle what you're going through, but there are people that have overcome way bigger things. Watch an inspiring TED Talk. I saw, come on, let's go. Almost there. And then we're going to sit quietly, so get ready. Now, relate to your aura, whatever you conceive your aura to be, you know, your confidence, your uh, projection, your space, your grace, your abilities, okay? So in this last little bit, I want you to totally focus on thoughts of expansion, greatness, largesse, capacity, bravado even, right? Confidence, okay? Just go there. You know, it's, it's an attitude. It's a feeling. Last little bit. 
Your mind can go negative and it shrinks you. It can go positive and expands you. So I'm asking you to work with your mind. Go positive. Go, go big. And then go home. How about that? Go big first and then go home. Last few. Okay, now we end like this. Inhale, interlace your fingers together and stretch the palms to the ceiling. All right, and now stretch. Oh, stretch left, stretch right. Feel the shoulders and the ribs. Just breathe and stretch. Oh. Mm. Expand the rib cage. All right, now hands on the knees, eyes closed. Relax. Feel your body and feel, you have to imagine it, that part of your body is an energetic shell around you, three, six, nine feet out away from your skin. Just visualize and feel that you have a force field, a shield of energy and of grace that keeps you safe. Breathe slowly and deeply, feel your navel center moving. Come on. Now continue this feeling of expansion. You know, literally heat's radiating from your body now, so radiate light and energy with it, creating a glow, a halo all around you. All right. So within it, you are safe. Within it, you are powerful. Within your world, your, your, your life. Let my thoughts be seeds into your experience. Okay, I've got a moment of peace, a moment of grace. It may not last long. So hold it, enjoy it. Now at a great distance, out in space, 100 miles away, See this thing that's been troubling you, this, this betrayal, this harm. But if I reminded you of it and your aura shrank, no, breathe and expand again. Push back against the pressure. And the pressure is this thing's huge and I'm too small. I can't handle it. Something like that. No, expand, breathe deeper, push out. I've handled my life yeah, it's been good, bad, hard, but here I am, I've handled it. I will too handle this. And once you just get a glimmer that, well, you have been handling it, maybe a little messy, maybe very troublesome, but you're still here. You've been handling it, you are handling it, you will handle it. And maybe even when you're ready to handle it, then you can accept it. Or you accept it, and that is saying I'm ready to handle it. And once you've made that commitment, okay, it happened, now what? Your responses to the situation will be empowered. Empowered. So in any moment that you hold this space of grace where you feel you're big enough, strong enough, wise enough, loving enough to handle what happened, then from there, go for, imagine, okay, what, what, what's next? What do I do now? Now that I've accepted and I'm ready, and I feel the strength to deal with it. Now ask. Ask in your body, in your, for a visual or a sign. Okay. And it may be very instant. Like, oh, now that I know I'm strong enough to handle this, oh, I know what to do. I'm going to give you a full minute of, of silence. Please stay in meditation. Being in truth and authentic Communication with yourself, your heart. Do self-healing. Breathe.
Thanks for your comments. Let's, uh, ready to come back now. Let's breathe, inhale. Exhale through the mouth with a sigh. It's always a nice way to finish. Come out of this slowly, take your time. If you've got something significant you'd like to uh, make a note of, please do. Um, these experiences can give, give you some of your highest wisdom and best information. So, you know, you might not understand it or even believe it. You might not remember it later. So take a snapshot. Of, of your takeaways. It's called harvesting your gains, right? Figuring out life is, comes in a lot of little pieces, like a puzzle. And you know, you don't know what it is. It starts fitting together and making sense. So if anybody wants to comment, I'll uh, share those. Um, so acceptance, after going through everything again, you either get exhausted and just sort of like, okay, I guess I got to deal with it. Um, some people do resist for a very long time, but it's, uh, it's very debilitating. It's very draining. Another way to reach acceptance and moving on and, and being proactive is to be proactive, is to say, okay, I must do this, I will do this, but give yourself a lift. You know, maybe you are exhausted. That was in the week, the lesson on depression, that sometimes you need to restore uh, before you can get up and move on and deal with it. So, thank you, and um, a little shorter class today. That exercise, simple to recreate on your own, we did about six and a half minutes. Uh, didn't want to push you too hard, but if you can build yourself to 11, so do it every day for a while, you know, monitor your arms. Usually if you don't have, you know, arm shoulder problems, you will, it'll get easier. You know, you'll build a nervous system and muscular strength to it. Uh, so that, you know, imagine six weeks, 40 days of this with the visualization of expanding and handling and uh, at the end, sit quietly and ask for, uh, okay, what do I, what do I need to do today? to um, clean this up, to uh, you know, knit back together my life after the situation. Now, thank you, and I want to uh, offer a couple things that are coming up through KRI next Wednesday. So I'll, res I'll continue this series, uh, Viral Emotions, uh, but we'll move on from Betrayal. If anybody wants to send me what you're dealing with and would like to uh, these classes to uh, relate to, uh, send me an email, gurumayor at sensesofthesoul.com or through my website, you can you know find me, send me an email. And also, what else? Uh, my work, Senses of the Soul, uh, you can see my book and my full training series on working with emotions at sensesofsoul.com.